And to talk about the process of identifying the victims is Dr. Robert Mann. He is one of the leading forensic anthropologists in the field, and he's an adjunct professor of anatomy and pathology at the John A. Burns School of Medicine at the University of Hawaii. Uh, Dr. Mann, thank you so much for being here. You are helping to identify the victims who have been recovered from this disaster area. I imagine this is an incredibly emotional and challenging task. What compelled you to help, and what do you hope to accomplish in Lahaina? Well, good morning. Um, you know, forensic anthropologists, we work typically on one of the main things we do is we work mass fatalities and mass disasters. And so we bring a special skill set to this where we deal with fragmented remains, we deal sometimes with, with burned remains. And the purpose of all this is to try to be involved and to assist in the three stages of this to try to get resolution for for the missing, for the families. And that's the, the three steps would be the search, the recovery, and the identification of the individuals who are missing. So what we're hoping to do is just be part of this team that I think is doing their very best uh, with what they've got in the time constraints and all with a, a terrible, horrible event. And um, what we can do is we are going to focus on trying to identify the missing. And that's really the main goal. So we can help with the recovery, with recognizing uh, burned individuals or whatever it may happen to be. And once those remains are go back for triage, which is for the first assessment of what do we do next? What's the next step in this? Do we try to identify individuals with fingerprints or with dental or DNA? And we are usually uh, parts of those teams. And we really do have kind of an unusual skill set. Uh, that we bring to all of this. Well, this is a tough process to talk about, uh, but an important one to so many families who just want answers and to have a proper burial for their loved ones. What do you say to the families of those who are missing right now? Well, oh, I, I, my heart goes out to them. Uh, I, I'm an anthropologist. I'm just a human being. I'm another person that's trying to, to help in all of this. And if this was somebody, if this was a family member of mine that was missing or unaccounted for or a friend, I would want the quickest, speediest uh, process that anybody could ever give, bring to bring forth on this earth. But at the same time, what we, I know in as an anthropologist and doing this for many, many years is, it's a very difficult process. It's a complex process. And really what it is, is the, the only things we can go on, we can go on on patience, on hope, and give it the very best that we've got. But the thing we want to make sure that we do is we do everything correctly. You know, you can go through things speedily, and I've seen that done sometimes in the past. We can never cut a corner. That just is not going to happen with this and cannot happen. And the process is just going to take some time. But I, my heart goes out to everyone. I, I cannot imagine what they're going through. Well, certainly, and that sentiment is shared. Um, you know, you've helped identify victims who died in 9-11, the tsunami in Japan, several other disasters. We've got about 40 seconds left. How is this similar or different from those scenarios? Well, I think, I think it's both similar and different in that there's a lot of resources and personnel that we have to bring together to work together. And normally, these groups are out there working independently on different fields and different uh, purposes and goals. And so what you got to do, th this is very similar to other uh, incidents that I've worked on as far as these are, there are protocols for recovery for the identification of individuals, and we have to follow those protocols and those SOPs. And once we do that, the goal, of course, at the end is to bring everyone home and to identify as many people as we can, hopefully everyone, and we don't know that until the process is done. All right, Dr. Robert Mann, thank you so much for joining us and for the hard work that you're doing in Maui. Thank you. And if you'd like to donate to help the victims of disaster, there's a ton of information at our website, newsnationnow.com slash help. If you're looking for a loved one in Hawaii or on the island looking for shelter, the number to call is the Red Cross hotline, and that number is on your screen. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.